Hi, I'm Sherry from Whole Circle Studio, and I have a question for you. Have you ever struggled with getting seams to align precisely when joining foundation paper pieces? Today, I want to share with you my technique that allows me to achieve incredibly precise results. Let's get into it. Once I have my paper pieces ready to join, I use a technique called positioning pinning to achieve precise alignments between pieces. Let me show you. On these patterns, there's a small little symbol, a dot, on some of my paper pieces where I want to pay close attention to the alignments. For this block, one of the areas is where the leaf sections match. So, but anytime I have seams that I want to match up precisely, whether there's dots or not on the patterns, this is what I do. I first place my units, my pieces, correct sides together. And then I use super thin pins to align the dots. The thinner the pin, the more accurate the results. And I really like this brand of pins, Iris Superfine, because while they're thin, they don't bend easily. I'm gonna put a link to them below. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and pin um, in the areas of any critical alignment. So for this, it's where this seam meets this seam. I'm gonna take my super thin pin and I'm gonna put it through on the dot in this case, or right on the seam. And I'm gonna flip it over to make sure indeed it is on the seam. It's a little bit off, so sometimes this takes one or two tries to get it to be where you want it to be. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the next piece. So my dot is on the paper side, so I can't really see it, but I'm gonna visually go down a quarter of an inch, because that's where I went on this side, my quarter of inch seam allowance. Visually down a quarter of an inch and on the seam of where I want them to match up these two pieces. It's a little off. I can You can be really picky if you want, and that looks a lot better. So then what I'm going to do, and this is really important, is kind of lock it in. I want to make sure that the pin is straight or perpendicular to the fabric, not leaning this way or this way. When it's straight out, I know that my seams are perfectly aligned. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place, I'm going to pin these two pieces together on both sides of that positioning pin, making sure that the pin is straight out when I'm doing that, that it's nice and locked in. So I'm gonna pin on the right-hand side of that and then the left-hand side. And I find by doing two pins, it's less likely to shift and the alignment will be nice. Um, these two seams will be nice and aligned. Very important, once these two pins are in, securing the two pieces of paper and fabric together, make sure you remove the positioning pin. If you don't, it can get hung up in your machine. So though that is my only critical seam, seams that I want to align. Um, if there were others, I'd go ahead and do those next. And then what I like to do is I like to um, do this same thing for the corners. I find that I get much sort of nicer ends. I'm gonna go right through the corner the point on the corner, and I'm gonna approximate it first a quarter of an inch this way, a quarter of an inch this way. We'll see how close I get. Kinda close, we'll do it again. There we go, that looks much better. I'm gonna push it through. Um, and for the corners, um, I usually, I put one pin in that way, and then I like to lock it in. I find that this, um, by putting a pin perpendicular at the ends. Um, it's less likely for the ends to kind of come apart while I'm sewing. Um, but most importantly, make sure you remove that positioning pin. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other end. And again, this is completely optional. Um, I do find though, if I'm looking for precise results, taking the time to do these pins, this extra pinning definitely makes it worthwhile. Um, and again, I cannot stress enough um, the importance of doing this with a very, very, very thin pin. All pins are thin, but there's extra thin pins, and the thinner your pin, the more accurate you're gonna be, and you're gonna get better results. Um, so I have my critical 
alignments pinned. I have my ends. Um, this is a very long edge and I like to pin it. I could certainly throw some more pins in. Again, by adding more pins, I find that I'm doing less work on the machine. Um, so for this, what I'll do is sometimes things can shift a little bit. I'll stick my positioning pin in, maybe where I wanna put the pin, or I wanna pin those pieces together. I'll look over, it's a little off the line. That means it shifted a little bit. So I'll separate that and try again for that bottom piece. That's better. Again, I'll push that through, making sure it's nice and straight and pin. And again, by doing this, I find that I get much more accurate results. Um, I could certainly add more pins if I want to be super, super precise, um, but this looks good for me. So now I'm ready to bring it over on the machine. Um, again, I find by taking the time to do this, my seam allowances are much more accurate, so I get much better results in the end, and my final block measures what the intended size should be, or very close to it. Um, if the end, in the end, after you sew this, if your alignments aren't quite perfect, and you don't want to use a seam ripper, remember your quilt is a handmade object, nothing handmade is perfect, and um, it's okay to be perfectly imperfect. So let me show you what that alignment looked like in my final block. That's right here. And you could see those seams by doing the positioning pinning ended up really, really nicely. Sort of visually that leaf continues very beautifully. Thanks for watching and don't miss out on more tips and tricks to make your quilting and stitching easier. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and follow the links below to explore more of my tutorials.